Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how you can apply item response theory using R. First of all, I will respond to the question of what is the item response theory. Item response theory is a technique of analysis for binomial response variables. So, why do we need to use this technique? Regarding the IRT technique, we can apply logistic regression to the binary response variable. In other words, when the dependent variable is categorized within exactly two values, we can apply logistic regression. In other words, when the dependent variable is categorized within exactly two values, we can apply logistic regression. IRT models were initially developed to model how a subject a variable was related to the answer a binary test item such as 0 incorrect 1 correct we applied this model to understand the probability of the given answers for a response variable given item level properties also it is a two parameter logistical model 2pl in this video I'm going to use RSU IDE to apply IRT for the data. First, open RSU environment and then add libraries. To apply the IRT technique, we need to load these libraries MASS, MSM, read Excel, Polycore, ITM, MIRT, and run it. In the next step, we need to load the data. I'm using a customer satisfaction survey data in this video. You can download it through the link under this video. Load data and display the head top six rows. Also, we change the names of variables to numbered items as a convenience. In the next step, you can define the IRT model. We name the model as IRT model. This is the two parameter logistical model, 2PL and the added ITM open a parenthesis and add data and type. On the right side of the formula, only two latent variables are allowed, code names Z1 and Z2, we added Z1. And put the IRT parameters equals true. Get the parameters through the summary function, and then we can see the model summary, log likelihood, AIC and BIC. Also, we can see the coefficient information such as value, standard error, and Z score for each item. In the next step, we can see the difficulties and discriminations for each item through the coefficient function. This table is essential to produce the item response theory plots. For the item response line chart plots, we needed to plot two essential plots. The first line chart, the first line chart is the item characteristic curves or ICC. Also, we can display ICC chart for a single item. Here, I draw line chart for item 1. And in the other plot for items 5 and 7, this one is good for comparing the ICC line chart between items. The next line chart is item information curves or IIC. Also, we can display the primary test information function here. This is the item characteristic curves for all items. The 2PL model is similar to a logistic regression model. However, IRT is not observed directly. ICC chart for item 1, ICC chart for item 5 and 7, this chart displays item information curves for all items. This plot displays item information curves for all items. This plot is item information function for the basics. In the next step, we can ask the descriptive function for show the probability of the answering correct for each item. And then we can plot the descriptive scores as a line chart. In the plot, you can see the proportion of correct response and total scores. In the plot, you can see the proportion of correct response and total scores. For more information about the model, we can display the factor 
a score for each item by using the factor.score function. In the previous slides, we displayed item level values, but here, by using person.fit function, helps us to display the person level estimated model and p-values. Thank you for watching this video.